in this video we are going to discuss about people soft inventory how to perform a requisition and put away the quantity of the item into an inventory location so these are the steps that we are going to perform and explain the process we will first create a requisition then we will create a purchase order then a receipt after that we will check the inventory location or info to make sure that the item has been received in the inventory location then we have also added a step to show it that when we will create it as an asset if the asset will be created or not so the main crux is that while creating a requisition we should also need to provide the information of asset business unit and inventory business unit so to create a requisition go to purchasing requisition at update requisition click add business unit is us001 select an item let's say 10000 put a quantity we are taking 39 and then click on requisition defaults go on the right side and provide the inventory unit so we are going to input us 010 then go to asset information and provide asset business unit we are providing us 001 also we need to provide profile id bldg that will define what kind of depreciation process will run select all and click okay save note down the requisition id as well triple 2 go to purchase order click on add update pos then click add provide supplier id scm all zeros and one copy from requisition provide requisition id whatever we have created triple 2 click search select it click on copy to po after that everything is fine need not to change anything just save it make sure po status is approved document tolerance status you have to make click on green button to make it valid so document status should be valid then click on dispatch provide the server name psnt click okay yes so dispatch the po status will change to dispatched once it is done you will notice receipt status is still not received so you need to create a receipt note down the po id 306 go to purchasing receipt add update receipts provide business unit us001 click add provide a id 306 select the item click okay so everything will be populated you will notice that am status and inventory status will be shown pending that means everything is ready once we run the process it will go there for am status you will notice am business unit is us001 profile id is bldg quantity is 39 similarly on inventory status when you click on it you will check you can check inventory unit us010 also you can check on put away location then after that run po receipt accrual click okay okay again it will run the process that will run the receipt process inventory update process and asset management process so let's go to process monitor and you will notice the process name recv_03g so basically three processes are running inside it let's open it so first process is for receiving the item second is for updating inventory third is for updating asset management basically to create an asset let's go into inventory processes so in the inventory process the second process will give you a kind of pdf 
so view log trace click on pdf file it will give you an information give you some information that where which item so in our case 10000 quantity 39 need to be picked in uh, business unit us 010 of inventory business unit also put away location you will find out insp there so here is the put away location insp1 okay let's go to inventory process and check the inventory amount so go to inventory manage inventory review inventory balance info inventory by item provide business unit us 010 then item id 10000 click on search and click on view all go in the end you will see storage location insp1 where the item has been received quantity you can see 13149 it was previously 13110 after adding 39 it become 13149 in our case that shows the item has been received now as the last step let's go into the asset management module and check if the asset has been created properly click on asset management asset transactions owned assets basic add we need to identify the latest value so click on for business unit us001 click on search sort on asset id ignore those ex asset ids and pick the latest uh, number so it is 154 this is what has been created by this system click on it you will notice the date which should be the date on which you run the process under asset acquisition details you need you can check the quantity 39 amount click on interfaces info you will notice you can check your po number receipt number that kind of verify that the item has been created by your receipt only so that's all in this process thank you for watching have a nice day